this 1949D Jefferson Nickel stood out at Heritage Auctions thanks to its five fully delineated steps and grade of MS-68. The Denver Mint, known for producing the sharpest nickels in 1949, still sees scarcity in coins with either 5FS or 6FS. Interestingly, nickels from all three mints in 1949 were of mediocre quality compared to the years immediately preceding, hinting at a general decline in quality that became more obvious as the 1950s progressed. Despite this decline, the Denver issue remains relatively collectible in full steps, although finding such coins in superb gem condition is a rare occurrence. If you enjoyed learning about this unique nickel, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more numismatic content. This uniquely shaped penny fetched a remarkable $305 in an eBay auction that concluded on April 28th. Here we have an intriguing piece. An error 1970 D Lincoln cent in brown uncirculated condition. Its appearance is quite peculiar, almost as if one third of another 1970 cent was stamped over it. However, it's actually a double struck coin with a significant misalignment during the second strike. Double struck coins like this one occur when a coin fails to eject properly from the press and is struck again by the dies, resulting in overlapping or doubled features. In the case of the 1970 D. Lincoln cent error, the coin was initially struck, then somehow remained in the striking chamber and received a second strike that was misaligned with the first. This misalignment causes a doubling effect, where parts of the design appear doubled or shifted from their original position. One of the most noticeable features of this error is the double date on the obverse side, where the second strike causes the date to appear doubled or shifted. Collectors are particularly drawn to these types of errors due to their rarity and the visual intrigue of the doubled features. If you ever come across such error coins, be sure to store them properly to protect them from contact marks or oxidation. These error coins can be a smart numismatic investment for the future. Prepare to be amazed. This ordinary pocket change fetched a whopping $149.99 in an eBay on April 24th. What's so special about this 2023 Lincoln scent? Well, besides its stunning iridescent toning, it features a modern mint error known as the Extra V. This isn't your run-of-the-mill error, though. It's a newly discovered variety that's causing quite a stir in the numismatic world. The 2023 Extra V Shield scent is no ordinary coin. It's a unique and valuable variety of the Lincoln scent, thanks to an additional V letter engraved next to the VDB initials on the coin's obverse. This error, likely caused by a modification to the hub used in minting, has captured the attention of collectors far and wide. What makes this error so special is its rarity. Such varieties typically appear in only a small percentage of coins struck, making them a prized find for collectors on the lookout for something truly exceptional. This 2004D Wisconsin State quarter set featuring two elusive quarter varieties recently fetched a remarkable $159.99 on eBay. According to the seller from Arizona, the set includes the extra leaf high and low varieties, making it a truly unique addition to any coin collection. These coins, denominated as 25 cents, were struck at the Denver Mint location as business strikes. They are ungraded and uncertified, adding to their allure. The extra leaf low variety is characterized by an extra leaf on the left side of the ear, of corn on the reverse side of the coin, uh, positioned closer to the base of the ear. This additional leaf gives the appearance of an extra smaller leaf pointing downward. On the other hand, the extra leaf high variety features an additional leaf on the left side of the ear of corn, but this extra leaf is higher and more pronounced, pointing upward. These intriguing varieties are believed to have been caused by dye gouges or marks that created the illusion of an extra leaf during the minting process. While the exact cause remains uncertain, the result is a set of coins that are both unique and highly sought after among coin collectors. This seemingly damaged 1999 Lincoln cent recently fetched an impressive $219.97 on eBay. And despite its appearance, this cent is actually an uncirculated red coin with a fascinating error known as a broad strike. In numismatics, a broad strike error occurs when a coin fails to be properly positioned between the dies during the striking process. 
This results in a coin that is struck outside the retaining collar, causing it to be larger in diameter and thinner than usual. As a result, the coin lacks the normal reading, grooved edge, and has a flattened or spread appearance. Broad strike errors like this are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and unusual appearance. If you ever come across a coin with such an error, it could be a valuable addition to your collection. This 1936 S Cincinnati half dollar is a rare find, graded as uncirculated MS67. Among San Francisco minted coins of this commemorative type, finding one in superb gem condition is exceptionally rare, with no examples known to be numerically finer than the current MS67 coin. Each side of this half dollar features subtle iridescent tinting, complemented by a deep russet frame around portions of the borders. Despite its superb condition, the coin has only one notable abrasion, a small mark on Foster's eyebrow. This exceptional MS67 graded half caught the attention of collectors, selling for an impressive $7,200 at a recent heritage auction sale. The San Francisco Mint saw low mintage numbers for most denominations in 1926, though the reason for this remains unknown. Speculation suggests that the facility may have been undergoing renovations that year. Typically, the 1926S coins display poor details from moderately to heavily worn dies on one or both sides. However, the coin illustrated here is exceptional because it was struck with fresh dies. Fully read examples of the 1926S are very rare, regardless of grade or strike. Most coins will have a subdued shade of red, nothing like the fiery color of a 1926P cent. Despite the low mintage, well-worn examples are common, as collectors were drawn to this magical date and hoarded every example they could find from the mid-1930s through the 1950s. Pieces in higher circulated grades are scarce and command good prices. At the MS64 red grade, the 1926S is still affordable for most Lincoln Cent collectors and represents the best value. This particular piece boasts lovely, even red luster that is slightly and evenly mellowed over each side. A few specks on the reverse and an abrasion on Lincoln's beard account for the MS64 grade. It fetched an impressive $16,800 at Heritage Auctions. The low mintage and high relief 1921 piece dollar was struck during the final weeks of the year after tens of millions of 1921 Morgan dollars had already been produced. Compared to its 1922 two successor, the 1921 piece dollar is much scarcer. It is rarely encountered with the smooth surfaces and impressive peripheral patina of the present lot. Rich magenta and russet brown shades encompass the reverse of this coin. On the obverse, the field displays similar multicolor toning with additional hints of lime green, orange gold, and fire red colors. This stunning example was sold for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions.